Correct, Ashley, a Texas A&M student who nearly drowned at the campus rec center while doing some military training last month tonight talked about what happened. News 3's Clay Falls shows us how cadet Ryan Ochoa got to thank his rescuers this evening. You might say Ryan Ochoa is a walking miracle. I remember grabbing onto the ledge and waking up in the hospital. I had no signs of blacking out or tunnel vision, anything that a young victim would um, see or feel. The Texas A&M Junior and Corps of Cadets First Sergeant was doing breathing exercises for military training last month at the Texas A&M Natatorium when he came close to death after holding his breath underwater for several minutes. So I honestly didn't think anything would ever happen to him because he was so good at it. Um, but then he just stayed down there too long, and as soon as we noticed that something was wrong, we jumped in immediately. Corps Commandant Joe Ramirez is honoring the lifeguards and EMTs who came to Ochoa's rescue with a thank you letter and military coin given to soldiers for service excellence. The bottom line is Ryan wouldn't be here today had it not been for the actions of those of you who work here and did what you did. Lifeguard Rachel Munden says their years of training truly paid off. If one person was already doing something that we knew we needed to do, we just kind of worked together and tag teamed it. It looks very serious. The situation looks very gloom from the minute we turned around. Whenever you come up on a CPR, obviously, you can't get much worse than that. A show was spent two days in the hospital, and at first, the outlook didn't look good. Amazingly, he's made a full recovery. It's incredible. Um, their timing and the way they're trained is excellent. I mean, if, if they would have gotten there maybe a minute later, who knows what would have happened. What did happen, though, is an ending that couldn't be any happier. <laughs> At Texas A&M, Clay Falls, News 3. And Cadet Ochoa got back in the rec center pool for the first time last week, though he hasn't been doing breathing exercises anymore. The rec center isn't allowing students to do those exercises while they're reviewing their current policy.